Hey techies, Anthony from HashersNet here, and today we're looking at this. Now, before you go, wait, just this? Yes, just this. But um, I play a lot of video games and they use batteries. And um, I got tired of trying to guess which batteries were good, which batteries were bad, because I don't leave them in the remotes. I take them out and put them back into the little plastic case I keep them in, you know, just so they don't leak and destroy my controllers. So um, this is actually part of a two-pack. Funnily enough, it came literally wrapped in cellophane, so there's no box to show you. But this thing is simple, but it works. And that's I figured it's worth showing. Uh, so uh, real quick, I mean, here is pretty much it. Uh, nine volts on the top, uh, the regular voltage batteries in here, and... Um, you know, as you see, it just shows you the different sizes that you need to expand this. So what I have done is grabbed some, what I believe are new batteries, and then I, I'm going to try a couple of things that are in batteries, or, you know, inside things that are batteries, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so, um, let's see if I can get this open. Okay, so, batteries we have for testing, 9 volt, a C battery, a AA, and a AAA. So uh, we'll try each of these and uh, this meter will tell you if it's good or bad. And um, real simple for the 9 volt is just make sure you line up the plus and minus on the top and just make touch the contacts and it's a good battery. It's not brand new. I've used this in my alarm clock. So it's a good battery. So still a good charge on this battery. If I can get it to face the correct way again. There you go. Yeah. It is really sensitive. Gonna make sure those contacts are on there. So, uh, apparently, there we go. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, anyway, here is a C battery. We, we do have D batteries somewhere, but I, I'm not gonna go dig them up. But um, minus on top, plus on bottom. Just move this piece here and you basically there is no spring or nothing there's nothing holding it you got to hold it yourself and as you see this battery is also good uh this is actually a new battery but it's been sitting for about a year so probably why the charge isn't like the absolute best so here is a double a and again contact and top contact and bottom and this battery of course has been sitting for a while too so it's uh it's good still though so Yay for that. And then a AAA battery. This one I think is actually brand new. I think we got it recently, but don't quote me on that. Again, make contact with the contact. Uh, and then, you know, try to get in here. It's, it's a problem with the smaller batteries. I kind of wish it was some spring resistance, but uh, nothing I can do about it. Oh, come on. Maybe if I do it like this, I'll hold it in here. Uh, I'm kind of happy I'm not trying to juggle a, cam a, a camera or anything. There we go. Oh, had it for a sec. There we go. So it's a good battery as well. Now uh, I keep uh, next to this setup here some lamps or flashlights. And uh, by the way, these are awesome flashlights. I don't think I reviewed them or anything, but they're like the decent LED ones. Uh, I've had these for two years. My amp bottom for me, they're pretty fantastic. Anyway, so it, had, it came with generic batteries. So I figured these would be useful uh, ready batteries? Or did she give me batteries? I don't know. But anyway, we'll try this battery. Uh, it's been in here for about two years. Uh, again, this light is phenomenal. Um, I'm not going to include a link to it or anything, but I mean, you can probably find it. Uh, so this battery is two years old and it's just on the yellow. So, you know, it's getting there. So, yeah. So if we see on here, uh, it says battery it's a button battery ranking i don't have a button battery to test in because obviously you put that in on the top and bottom here as you see there's a split here and that'll work these batteries of course are 1.5 volts and then 9 volt on the top so you would be able to see the range on the battery but uh as you see that, that's it there's nothing really fancy about it um a little bit of i don't know how well you can see the text on the back here about the the battery size and what you're expecting and uh, i mean all in all it's 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 fine it's does what it's supposed to and that is all that really matters with that said tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item did you get it and how was your experience with it thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe